number three from the AQA Statistics 1 June 2015 exam paper. In this question we're told that if ferry sails once each day from port D to port A, the ferry departs from D on time or late but never early. However, the ferry can arrive at A early, on time or late. The probabilities for the combined events of departing from D and arriving at A are shown in this table here. Our first task is to complete the table. OK, so in order to complete the table, we're just um, working out the missing values. So over here, the total is going to be the sum of these three values, which is going to be 0 0.8. OK, which means here we're going to have 0 0.2. Over here we've got 0 0.87 will be the total there, so 0 0.13, this is going to be 0 0.05, and 0 0.09 and 0 0.06, which works that way and that way. Okay, so I'm happy that that's right. Part B says, write down the probability that on a particular day the ferry both depart and arrives on time. So we're just reading this straight off the table here. So if it departs it and arrives on time, we're looking for this value here, which is going to be 0 0.56. Okay, um, and then we want to work out that it departs late. So if it departs late, it's going to be over here, the total value, which is going to be 0 0.56. Two. Okay, 0 0.2 to depart late and 0 0.8 to um, depart on time. Okay, so part C says find the probability that on a particular day the ferry arrives late given that it departed late. Okay, so we're given that it's departed late, which has a probability of 0 0.2, and um, if it arrives late, that will be 0 0.05 out of 0 0.2. So I'm going to have 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.2. And that's going to give me the probability that it arrives late, given that it's departed late. And that gives us, I think it's 0 0.25. 0 0.05. and that's going to be 0 0.25 okay um, and part 2 says it does not arrive late given that it departed on time so we're given that it departed on time so that's going to be out of 0 0.8 and it does not arrive late well the probability of it arriving late is going to be 0 0.08 so the probability of it not arriving late then, that's going to be the sum of these two, which is going to be 0 0.72. OK, and 0 0.72 divided by 0 0.8, that's going to give us 0 0.9. OK, part D says on three particular days, the ferry departs from port D on time. OK, so we know that this is going to be out of 0 0.8. We're given that information. So we want to find the probability that on these three days, the ferry arrives at port A early once, on time once and late once. And then we want to give our answer to three decimal places. OK, so... Um, our calculation is going to be, well, early is 0 0.16, so that's going to be 0 0.16 out of 0 0.8. On time is going to be 0 0.56. Don't know why that's happened. 0 0.56. And times that by... 0 0.08 out of 
Okay, however, we've not finished because that's just one particular order. That's that's early, so the first day it's early, the second day it's on time, and on the third day it's late. But it could be that it's early on the first day, late on the second day, and on time on the third day. So that would give me a the same calculation but in a different order. And in fact, what I'm going to do is there's going to be three factorial permutations of this so I need to times this by 3 factorial and I'm just going to explain where that 3 factorial comes from um, I'm just going to over here we'll say the first day it's early the second day it's on time and on the third day it's late or it could be that on the first day it's early the second day it's late and on the third day it's on time or it could be that it's on time on the first day early late or on time late early and late on time early and late early on time okay and these are all um, the different permutations um, that those three things can happen okay so there's six of them which is three factorial three times two times one so this calculation now should give me my answer for this part. So grab my calculator. I've got, we'll do this part first, the bit inside the brackets first. So 0 0.16 8 times Okay, so that's going to be seven five hundredths, and then I want to times that by three factorial, or times it by six. Three times two times one is six, and that gives me zero point zero eight four. Zero point zero eight four, and we're told here to give our answer to three decimal places, and that is to three decimal places. Okay, um, I hope you found that useful. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.